Well, this next story is pretty sweet. A community staple is back in Jasper County. After a new manager took over last June at the Newton Made Right, they brought donuts back to the menu this month. That's where we find our Teodora Mitov live for us this morning. Good morning, Teodora. Where are you? Yeah, Kaylin, we are inside of the Newton Mate, right? And we're about to show exactly what the process is like to make these donuts. I'm joined with Lori and with Jane, and they will tell us what the process is like. So Jane, you're over here at the machine. What is this doing? What's the process? It's, we put the dough in there and it kind of comes out. We bring it out, comes up the track. I get it, give it to Lori and she frosts. Awesome. So you have been here since five in the morning making donuts. Tell me about that process. What does this feel like to you, being able to bring this back to the menu? Oh, I love it. Everybody in town loves it. Yeah. We're having fun doing it. Do you have a particular donut that everyone likes? What's the top seller? Chocolate, chocolate sprinkle. Yeah. They're, they're, the top, they're the top ones. Yeah, and what's your favorite? Mine's white. I like white. <laughs> <laughs> so here, after the donuts are made, what, what then continues from here? We put them on the racks, dry them out, and they start coming to the window and start. we start boxing them up. Yeah, so we saw so far one person come through on the drive-thru, yep. and this is even before you guys are open, you don't yep. open yet. So how does that feel for you just seeing people coming in even before uh, you're even oh, supposed it's to great. be? It's, it's great, it, especially the first day we did it, they were lined up at six o'clock. Yeah. 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 We just, couldn't keep up with them, actually. <laughs> and what's the secret to making your donuts? Would you say it's the batter? Would you say it's um, anything else? I think it's the batter. Yeah. It depends how thick you have it, how thin you have it. I think that's the secret. And you got to have the right donut flour. You got to have the right donut grease. Yeah. So. And what was the process like to get back into doing this? Because it's been three years without the donut. Oh, yeah. So did you have a learning curve again, or were you able to pick it up easy? Well, it was easy to do. It was just harder to find all the stuff that we used to have. Mm -hmm. But because um, some of the trucks didn't sell that same product, but yeah. we found it. It took us a couple months, but we found everything and just started coming together. Yeah, well, we're happy that it's back. Can you now show us the process for what it's like to frost a donut? Just throw it in the frost. Yeah. <laughs> so this hot. is the chocolate. This is the vanilla. Vanilla and. Or maple. Yeah. I call it caramel. Okay. And then what other toppings do you have? Nuts, coconut, sprinkles. So we have sugars, cinnamon sugar. Plain. Plain. Oh. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for showing us how to make the donuts and for giving us a little tour inside the kitchen. We really appreciate it. But once again, they are open starting at 7 a.m., but people are coming to the window right now, Kaylin. Okay, they are busy at the Newton Made Right. There's a method behind the donut making madness. So, Tudor Mito, thanks so much for giving us an inside look at how it's all done.